Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing some foot and ankle mobility, my foundational foot and ankle mobility. And all you're going to need is your body, possibly a towel and a stool, depending on where your starting level is. And I'm going to be showing both today. The purpose of um, this exercise is to activate all of the muscles of the foot of the ankle of the calf that support our movement again our feet our ankles are our foundation so this is something that if you're struggling with knee ankle foot pain is something that i would add in the routine before you do other other movement to activate all of these muscles intrinsically so without um, any further ado we're going to go ahead and get started with this one today um, this one is one of my staples in all of my clients routines so we're going to start just with your body. So for this one, feet are gonna come hip width apart, and this is probably gonna look like something you have seen before and done before because it is, it's that common. We're gonna do a calf raise. Now for this one, I suggest being barefoot or having shoes that allow your feet to be feet and fully spread out because we're trying to use all of those muscles of your, of your feet. And especially if we're doing this one for foot pain relief, we wanna be able to activate those correctly. So just to know, not necessary, but I will be doing these barefoot because of that reason. All right, so feet are hip width apart, equal weight through all parts of your feet, finding that foot tripod that you can learn about in other videos that I have made. And then we're going to do a little calf raise. You're coming up onto your toes, finding a pause at the top, and you're going to notice, so you can use something to hold on to, a stick, a counter, a chair. Am I um, centering my weight equally through all, all of my toes? And then you're going to slowly lower back down into the ground. So we're going to come up nice and high. I like to say big toe pressure because it's really easy to want to roll onto the sides of the feet because that's what our shoes make, uh, our modern shoes make it really easy to do. So big toe pressure. And then you're going to lower slowly back down to the earth. We're going to do between eight to 20, 30 of these um, around that, each one of these, nice and slow, little pause at the top, all the way back down. So that guy looks like from the side, pretty much just like a regular calf raise all the way up and all the way down. And you might feel these in the calf, around the Achilles, in the foot, all of those areas I was mentioning. And then we're gonna find the second variation, which is I like to call my Pilates feet. So heels are gonna come together. You're gonna think about about a fist distance in between both of your feet. And then we're gonna do that exact same thing, coming up onto the big toes, centering the weight equally between foot to foot, big toe pressure, and then slowly lowering back down to the earth. So we're coming up nice and high. And then we're lowering slowly down. And again, this could feel like a calf and ankle workout. It's going to help you a lot if you struggle with balance, stability, foot, ankle pain. And then after we've done that one, the last version, maybe you guessed it, we're going to go pigeon toed. So your toes are going to come in. Our hips are internally rotating. Heels are out a little bit farther. Now I say with my clients, it doesn't have to look like mine. You might notice your hips want to move more straight as you do this. That means we have some uh, mobility deficit in our hips that we need to address with other movements and can easily be addressed. So don't be too hard on yourself for how you end up on this one. This one's so hard. So again, you're coming up nice and high, big toe pressure, hold on to that surface, use that stick if you need it, and then slowly lower back down to the earth. So coming up high and then lowering down. Awesome. So once this one feels pretty easy, you can do four sets pretty easily around 20 reps with rest in between. We want to move to the next level here. Uh, but this guy, we're going to use a towel. I'm going to roll it up a little bit and I'm going to place it underneath the balls of the feet. What this does, it's going to make the muscles in the arch work a little bit harder. It's going to make this exercise just a little bit more challenging. So if this is something, um, if foot pain is something you struggle with, we definitely want to advance to this version because the feet are going to have to work a bit harder. And then exact same thing, finding that first position coming up nice and high and then slowly lowering it down to the earth. And again, you should be able to do but somewhere between eight to 30 reps of all of these, uh, four sets, a little bit of 30, 90 second rest in between, fairly easily before moving on. And again, I'm finding that variation. And then I'm gonna find my Pilates feet, heels in, toes out about a fist width distance um, between, coming up nice and high slowly lowering down to the earth. And again, the balance, this is kind of hard. So either use that thing to hold on to, use your stick, use a chair, use something you have around, and then find 
that place of focus with your eyes and keep that focus. That's going to help you the most with the bounce. And then that last one, toes in, heels out, exactly the same thing, coming up nice and high. And then slowly lowering down to the earth. Awesome. So again, we're finding one of those variations. Either one of them works really well. Um, and then once you are ready, we can graduate to being a little bit higher up. So we're fo our foot is going to have to move through a little bit more range of motion. These are a little bit more challenging. And I definitely want you to have something that you can hold on to with this one because you will fall. <laughs> I was trying to do it earlier here and I did fall. So have something like a wall you can hold on to. So same thing. Feet are you hip width. We're coming onto the edge of that object. One of your uh, a, a step, one of those step risers at the gym works really well. Really well. Um, the bottom, like if you have stairs at home, um, a lip of a curb, something like that to do this one on. You're gonna slowly lower those heels down. Now in this bottom position, you're gonna feel a nice stretch. That's why I really like this one. Nice stretch through the back of the ankle, the Achilles, and then you're gonna come up nice and high. Pause for a moment, center that weight on your big toe, and then we're lowering, lowering slowly back down. This one requires more of the foot, more of the ankle, and we're moving here nice and slow, feeling that range of motion. And again, we're gonna find all three versions of that guy. So I'm doing the Pilates feet, heels in, toes out, dropping down, and then coming up nice and high. Good, so again, 10, 8 to 20, I keep saying it's a big range, but ideally we're able to do a couple of these. We recover well, um, we take breaks in between, um, and that's kind of how you can gauge which one works best for you today. Um, about can you do three or four sets, around 20 reps of each of these without getting too fatigued. And now I'm doing that last one, the pigeon toe one, toes in, heels out. Um, and you can feel as we're doing these, a different part of your ankle work because you'll kind of feel each one of them works a little bit. And then once you've mastered all of those, the last version of this one is going to be a single leg calf raise. And eventually we're able to load this with weight. So this is the last one we could do with our body weight. You'll shift your weight to one of your feet. You'll lower all the way down and then you'll come up onto the big toe. And again, we can position our foot three different ways. We can turn those toes out a little tougher, <laughs> and then we can turn those toes in just like we did with the double leg variations. And then eventually you're at a point where you can load this. I'm holding a weight in that hand closest to it, and then I'm coming up single leg. So when I can do all of those, I'm building a really functional and um, a really good foundation for my foot and ankles that I can build strength on top of. So it'll make a lot of our movements easier. And then this one by itself can be a great tool to have in your toolbox for eliminating foot, ankle, and even knee pain that's caused by a lack of um, stability through the foot and the ankle, which is really common for me and for my clients. Thanks for watching this one and spending a couple minutes today on your feet health because it matters more than you know and um, subscribe for more.